we have the absolute pleasure of being joined by our lovely friends from Hona in Trossingen to tell us all about the latest news from Germany. Grüß euch, wie geht's heute? Hi, Is. Can you, can you hear me okay, Gerhard? Can you hear me Perfect. okay? Perfect. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, loud and clear. Thank you so much for everything you have done to support Harping by the Sea and our guest artists this year. You guys are magnificent. Please give uh, Gerhard and Ines uh, the biggest uh, warm welcome from Harping by the Sea, everybody, from all around the world this year, not just here in Brighton and Hove. Thank you. So good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Ines Weber. I'm working with the Honor Company as a junior product manager for Harmonicas. I really hope you've been having a wonderful Harpin by the Sea Festival so far. We are really impressed by the highly professional organization of this online event and the wonderful engagement of the community. <laughs> That's why we would like to first and foremost thank the organizers for making this happen and also especially for having us the next 40 minutes. We have some exciting product and festival news for you, but not only. We will also invite you to join us in our virtual factory tour in Trossingen. But before that, my colleague Gerhard Müller and our partner Steve Baker are going to introduce you to very special harmonica model we only launched one week ago. Well, that's cool. Yeah, right. So, yeah, as you everybody knows, this year is a really a, a very important year. We have um, uh, 2021, and if you calculate and if you count, then you can see, wow, 125 years since the uh, Marine Band 1896 was introduced. There was Jakob Hohner, the company, Hohner company, they launched or they at least uh, gave, gave, um, go to the patent end and ask for, can we do the patent for the Marine Band harmonica? And everybody knows the Marine Band because this is a, at least the hero harmonica. This is a real <laughs> marine band. Everybody knows this harmonica. And therefore, we thought from Hona, well, 125 years is really a hell of years. So we would like to do a special version of this harmonica. And then we realized, we go, uh, went to the uh, museum, German Harmonica Museum here, located also in Trossingen with a fantastic uh, um, uh, exhibition and then we found a lot of these tiny small marine bands and there are some specials on this instrument with uh, special cover ears cover flaps here on the side and a special lacquering on the instrument and then we thought well we do this as a special version we had then one version which is a very nice packaging as well also in the back side there's a big story about honor and his invention of this harmonica and then we also did a very exclusive version and this is uh, the marine band uh, limited edition and i think this is something for tomorrow but i won't say too much on this harmonica it will be for the ruffle this is a very ha special harmonica it's gold plated covers we have a serious number of this and it's completely limited only 125 pieces are available on this harmonica in a very attractive box also with this gold plating uh, uh, information about the instrument also in the inside there's a big uh, picture of the um, of the yes technical drawing which uh, was made by Hona and which then was given to the patent amt to check whether it's possible to do this as a patent version so it's really a cool instrument it's really a very uh, nice attractive uh, celebration of this 125 years marine band and steve i think you also got already one from us and so, and I think you have a lot of, uh, 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 yes, you can tell a lot of us, uh, for us, uh, because this harmonica is also sounding very cool, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, basically, I was really delighted when this came through the post uh, a week or two ago, because it really basically sounds and plays like a vintage marine band. If you look, I'll hold it up close so you can see the mouse ear lugs here where the covers are attached by um this is i think not just entirely an optical difference uh because the tone is really like a vintage marine band i played a few really old harmonicas and i started playing marine bands uh a very long time ago i mean like 1969 i've been playing them ever since and uh this is very close indeed to the sound of the old instruments it's got the nice raspy bite which is what 
people like about the sound and which has made this instrument such an iconic um, part of popular music of the last, you know, 125 years. Uh, this is what it basically sounds like. I'll just play you the chord. <laughs> That's factory tuning. It's straight out of the factory. I haven't touched it. Um, so you can hear it's got this nice full chord sound, rich chord sound. Um, when you play single notes, <laughs> then you can hear it's really got that tone. And this is modern production so the actual setup of the gapping and stuff like this means that you don't just uh, you don't just have to use it for sort of traditional music you can play it chromatically it's uh, which is like more kind of modern style, yeah? But you can use it wonderfully for traditional harmonica styles. So this is not only a anniversary instrument, a commemorative instrument. It's an absolutely ace harmonica. Um, and as I say, this is out of the box. What uh, I believe Gerhard did not mention is that the comb, which as he said, has got the black lacquer around the back and sides, uh, it is also completely sealed. So um, the likelihood of swelling is drastically reduced. Uh, basically a vintage marine band made in 2021 i can only recommend it to your attention and now back to emails thank you very much steve as promised we are now inviting you to join us in our factory in trossingen the last live factory tour we offered took place during the harmonica masters workshop in autumn 2019 when we realized that none of this is going to be possible in 2020, we thought about another way to stay in touch with our community. We thought that seeing how the marine band is being produced step by step by our colleagues right here in Trossingen would be something no friend of the Honor Company could ever get tired of. So here we go. Hi, I'm Ines Weber. And I'm Gerhard Müller. We are the harmonica product managers here at the Honor Company in Trossingen. In the following video series, we will present you how we are producing our high-class harmonicas here at the Hono Company. Before we go into detail, we will give you an overview of the different parts of the harmonica. The heart of the harmonica is the comb, which is made of wood or plastics. The reed plates and the reeds are screwed or nailed onto the comb. Later, the cover plates are added. Also, we are using modern machineries for the production of our musical instruments. Of course, the experience and the excellence of our employees is very important to produce those instruments. In the next episode, we show you how we are producing our cones. Now, here we are at the injection molding systems here at the Honor Company. These machines are producing the, all the plastic parts for our musical instruments. For example, we are doing the combs for harmonicas as well as also the boxes for our instruments and we are doing plastic parts for accordions as well as plastic recorders. Now these machines using plastic materials, this is mainly ABS, it's going into the mold under pressure and then it's heated and after it's cooled down the completed parts fall out of these molds, fall out of these machines. These machines running depending on the order income in two or three shifts and uh, Yes, so these are the injection molding department, the parts. Our wooden combs as well as the combs out of bamboo and aluminum are manufactured according to our specifications by local companies. 
The cover blades of our harmonicas are manufactured on this 60-ton press. On this metal strip, you can see the different production processes. From the outer contour, via the holes, until we reach the final shape. The cover plates of our harmonicas are made of corrosion-resistant stainless steel. And by the way, all raw materials like this stainless steel, brass or plastics are purchased from German manufacturers. In this area, we are producing our harmonica reeds. Now we have a metal strap. This metal strap is a very special composition of brass material. Inside these straps we are milling a profile and the profile gives the reed a very good function and also a very stable and high durability. After the reed straps are profiled, the profile straps running into a cutting tool where the single reed are punched out. Afterwards the reeds are controlled. Just to give you an example, for our tenor diatonic harmonicas and also for our chromatic harmonicas, we are using 700 different reeds in our assortment. Now, these reeds are made in high precision, they have a very good flexibility, they are very dur durable and of course the sound quality is excellent. The quality of a reed plate is very strong uh, depending on the reed and its accurate fit on the reed plate slots. The replate slots are manufactured here in this department with high precision machines. It's very important that the reeds are very clean without any burrs on the side of the replate slot. To achieve this high quality of our raw replates, we are using punching tools which are working in a spectrum of hundreds or thousands of a millimeter. In this department, the reeds and valves are fixed to the reed plate. First, the single reeds are nailed with a rivet onto the reed plate. This is done with the help of a machine which feeds the rivets automatically. This process is called nailing. The next step is the centering of the reed within the slot of the reed plate and the fixing of the rivet. This is called riveting. In the last step of the reed assembly, every reed is given its release distance. This distance depends on model, tone and slot length. This process is called gapping. Now we will have a look in our tuning department. During the tuning process, the tuner is checking two reeds. One reed is fixed on the master reed plate. If he realizes that another reed is out of tune, he is removing material so that the reed gets exactly the same pitch like on the master reed plate. Here we are at the assembly department of our diatonic harmonicas. For our traditional models like the Marine Band 1896, both the reed plates and the cover plates are affixed with nails. On other models like the Marine Band Deluxe or in this case the Special 20, the nails are replaced with screws. This allows the player to completely disassemble the harmonica for easy cleaning and maintenance. Here we are at the quality control of diatonic harmonicas. With the help of a constant airflow, each reed is checked for its responsiveness. Finally, we end up with this beauty, which is then polished and packaged and sent out to players around the world. Please let us know whether you like this virtual company tour. Now Gerhard, please play us off. We hope you enjoyed the little tour. If you have any questions regarding the production process, feel free to raise them later during our Q&A. Next up is the topic of amplified harmonica playing. As most of you might know, in early 2020, we launched the Harp Blaster 52 microphone, which has received really good feedback from players. For its development, we were closely collaborating with you, Steve. So now I'm gonna hand, it, hand the microphone over to you. Thank you very much, Ines. Okay, uh, I did a uh, brief spot on the Heart Blaster microphone uh, at uh, early afternoon today, uh, but I'd like to just show you it again. This is a 
rare thing, a microphone that has been specifically designed not only from the external dimensions and how it's actually constructed, but also from the element uh, specifically for the needs of the amplified harmonica player. Um, the most important features in a nutshell are the small size because the traditional mics which uh, electric harp players have used for decades are round about this much bigger. Uh, they have a diameter at the front of usually six centimeters approximately. This is five centimeters, which means it's a lot easier to get your fingers around it. It's got, as you can see, a volume control at the back and the cable, which is a standard microphone cable going from female XLR, if you can see that, to a quarter inch jack, which is plugged into my amplifier, which is standing on the shelf behind me, this little beauty here, that's a Marble Max. Um, so you don't need impedance transformers, you don't need any effects or anything. Uh, you just basically need a standard microphone cable that ends in a quarter inch jack plug and that you can plug into any amplifier. You can also of course plug it, plug it into pedals, you can plug it into uh, amp simulations like you know Digitech or stuff like this. I prefer the sound through a tube amp and this is what I'm going to play you. Now I'm going to use the um, marine band 125 and just uh, play a couple of things through the Marble Max amp. <laughs> about the microphone is that the tone depends on how tightly you enclose it. So if I make a real tight cup, then we're going to get a fat, dark tone. <laughs> And if I open up a bit, this will brighten it up a great deal. And if I open up completely, then it's kind of much more bitey. It's also got a really good dynamic response. So when you play quietly, then you have a sweet tone. If you play loud, then you have a very powerful tone because it will really drive the amp. Yeah, so it's a very flexible microphone. I um, have to say that the our cooperation partner, SE Electronics from Austria, did a fantastic job developing the element. Tom Stubich, the engineer who's responsible for their microphone development, he uh, made a extensive analysis of cult vintage microphone elements. And then he created from the ground up uh, a new dynamic high impedance element, which basically makes that sound. Uh, but this is built to last, it's rock solid and price wise I would say it's unbeatable. So I've retired my vintage microphones and now I only play this, the HB52 Heart Blaster. I commend it to your attention. Thank you Steve. Thank you Steve. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. In, in case you were wondering, how to store that new microphone and your harmonica collection was longing for a new housing anyways, we got you covered here. Our flex case, extra large, fits your HP52, including its wire, together with 30 diatonic harmonicas. 
even if you don't play amplified, but have a huge collection of up to 48 diatonics, this is for you as well. For slightly smaller collections, or especially for players who play both chromatic and diatonic harmonica, the flex case L might be an interesting option. Both the flex case extra large and the large come with a detachable tool bag. Finally, we also have a solution for the minimalists who prefer to only take these seven essentials with them, the flex case M. Talking chromatics, I hope those chromatic players among you didn't feel left out so far. Gerhard will now talk about harmonica and an upcoming festival addressing especially, but not only you guys. Well, yeah, so thank you, Ines. I just checking. Oh, okay, here I am. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so well, two years before, uh, ago, we had also a, a launch of a very interesting chromatic harmonica. You re all remember the Super 64 series. We had uh, the Super 64 and the Super 64X version, and those models uh, were introduced in the 80s. So then we thought, well, it's, it's time to, to uh, check it and to do a, a reissue of, of these instruments to make some modifications on these instruments, and we did. So uh, in the end, we brought two very quite well uh, uh, great harmonicas out possibly you have seen these models i will this way so you also can read then the name so this is a standard uh, two new super 64 chromatic harmonica the great thing is that uh, it's really wonderful in the hands you also you can see the shape on the side it's going uh, on the on the back side on the sides of, of the comb then the replays are screwed individual so it's not that you'll screw up this one and then this one fall down so it's individual screwed and the great thing is we also implemented this screw here on the side below the the, the slider and there you can adjust the tension of the spring we also in already introduced this in a uh, thing on the ace 48 chromatic harmonica this is a really a fantastic uh, a great uh thing because then it's up to you whether you say oh well the slider from the company it's maybe too strong i would like to have a little more lighters and this uh, just uh, screw the uh, the screw a little bit and then the tension is much better so it's really also the air tightness it's really very airtight this instrument and um, yes i just uh, play a small song on this uh, super 64 harmonica and then i will introduce then the super 64 x just a small tune So this was a lovely song, but then of course also you can do a little bit more, more yes, speedy mu music like this one, for example. So you can play very soft. You can also play a very big punch with a lot of volume. So it's really the, the sound is incredible. Still, of course, this wonderful Hono sound, no question, because we use the same reeds. But the, the instrument itso itself, very attractive. Also, the, the cover plate shape and everything is really very cool. So the other one is the Super 64 X. There you can see, of course, the cover plates are black pla painted, but this is a very special painting. Um, it comes from the medical uh, uh, area, so it's very, very s yes, safe, no no question. And of course, also the replates inside, they are also double plated, which means we have double thick replates on the top side and double thick replates on the bottom side, like the old one. The old Super 64X has also this double thick replates on the instrument, which gives you a special punch in the low octave of the harmonica and of course also in the middle part. The high part is on this harmonica also double thick, which means the old one had only uh, the double thick replays on the on these three octaves and on, on top two octaves it was only a th one a thin replay. Now here we have over the whole range four octave harmonica we have the double thick replays and this is great. So especially in the low end <laughs> This gives you a really good punch. And also, if you play the same song, like this uh, funny song which I played uh, as a second, it also sounds here very, very go cool. So, 
really you, if you feel you blow in and you immediately have the sound it's not that it's 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 air leaky something no it's really not so it's really cool of course also here you have the same same feature so the the screw better can uh, put on the, the tension of the the instrument so if you have any questions so afterwards we maybe we can go in the chat room and then i can give you a more a little more explanation but these are really very cool chromatic harmonicas for a tough range wonderful to play so this is for the Super 64 models and then Ines mentioned that uh, of course we hope that we can do um, a special festival this year maybe everybody knows we have the World Harmonica Festival all four years in Entrossing and so last one was 2017 now the next one would be this year 2021 and of course everybody knows that the COVID-19 situation whether we can uh, do the festival or not it's everything depends on the de development of the pandemic so we have to to see what will happen but of course we are still preparing the festival still in the hope that we can do it we have to uh, make two uh, yes kind of what a milestone uh, dates where we will say well we can do the festival or we can't do because of the restrictions and all the, the difficulties and also possibly the the danger of, of the pandemic then still in November this year so I will share now the screen because we already prepared the World Harmonica Festival web page so just give me a second and then so here I think Hopefully it works, but if you can see it, I hope so. Uh, well, this is a World Harmonica Festival webpage. Uh, you can see we also have a notice for the COVID-19 situation, and then you can go here. You can select the the, um, the language, either German or at least English. So if you click on English, then you get all the information, what will happen. We have a video uh, inside the, the festival page where you can see what happened in 2017. We will have, of course, concerts, a special concerts, then a competition, which is a really a very interesting thing. A lot of different uh, categories uh, are offered. So you can play the blues, you can also play folk music, you can play jazz on chromatic or on diatonic harmonicas. We have a bunch of, of different workshops uh, and also of course the exhibition you can go the to the world harmonica festival so just to give you i hope that you can see the screen because it tells me that possibly it's not shared but uh, i hope it's shared you can see it <laughs> oh perfect so if i go to the retrospective so you can see the festival in 2017 <laughs> Thank you. 
This was really it's a fantastic video, at least, and also the festival was great, 2017. And what we will do, the preparation for the festival this year is running. At least, hopefully, we can do it uh, uh, this year. If not, then, of course, we have to postpone it, but the, the, at least the, the program itself will be very close, very, very similar to uh, this year, what we have planned for this year. So let's see what will happen uh, then. 
in November. So <laughs> that's it from my side. And yes, Ines, anything else? Nothing else from our side. We hope you liked our contribution to this online festival. And now is the time to raise any questions that might have come up during our presentations. I've been answering a couple online uh, on the chat, but if anyone wants to ask anything now, then you have the undivided attention of Gerhard and Ines as well as me. So go That's ahead. probably one question there, Steve, which I think is a, a ubiquitous question is sure. why, why nails are used instead of screws to secure the cover plates on the marine band? Well, the marine band is a traditional instrument and that was how it's built. And uh, there are an awful lot of traditional blues players who like it that way. I personally uh, was never really very happy about prizing harmonicas apart with knife blades to fix them up. And that was the reason why I put a great deal of effort into convincing Hona to make the Marine Band Deluxe and later the Marine Band Crossover, which employed the screw on reed plate layout, which was first adopted by customizers. The first person I saw doing it actually was Richard Slay uh, in the 90s. And uh, we have assembled these later you know, modern Marine Band models, Marine Band Deluxe, Marine Band Crossover from the very beginning with screws, with all screw together assembly, exactly for that reason. But uh, how shall I put it? They're coming from a different place. The Marine Band is, uh, it, it's like, it's a bit like a sort of vintage Martin guitar or, a, you know, a 52 telly or something like that. Uh, that's how they are. And obviously, if you don't like that, then you're very welcome to get a deluxe, which is the same instrument, but with a screw together assembly and with improved covers. There's a, a whole range of marine band harmonicas now, and um, they have, you know, different features which depend partly on price. But in the case of the 1896 marine band, I think any attempt to change it would not meet favor from the people who love it, and there's quite a few of them. I just wanted to maybe, uh, whilst we're waiting for any further questions, to cut in momentarily, if I may, and just first of all say, um, or to echo what people have said in chat, that that's been such a, a professional and really well thought out presentation from you at Hona. So thank you very, very much for preparing that and bringing it to us today. Obviously, I understand you're happy to join folks in the breakout room afterwards yeah. for questions and to mix with, with people there, answer any further questions. And we have, uh, hasn't gone unnoticed, Steve, that you are today a man of many hats. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, you know, you, you, one does what one can. <laughs> just trying to keep a struggling industry in business, you know. Yeah, folks have said they've thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed the tour of the the factory. Your video there of the uh, the festival looks amazing. Uh, Steve, your demonstration of the the marine band sounded fantastic. Thank you. And also, of course, the HB fifty two, which we also saw earlier, that sounds amazing too. What I'd like to just quickly move on to, if I may, is to say a big thank you to everybody here um, on behalf of our raffle, our charity because the, uh, your, your associates at Sutherland Trading in South Wales are connected with us, obviously, and um, exclusively, they, you, you've provided for us a gold-plated marine band, number 117, I do believe, out of the limited edition of 125, serial numbered, and that's gone as number one prize in our raffle for which we're raising money to bring um, music therapy to the bedside of children who are in hospital yeah, in critical care. And oh, you've already yeah. helped us raise over 2,000 pounds for the charity. So a massive thank you <coughs> to everybody from Honer and Sutherland. And I would urge all our audience around the world at Harping by the Sea 2021 to buy a raffle ticket it doesn't cost you an awful lot, but you could win an absolutely unique Honer instrument there. And if you fail to win that one, then we also have six Key of C standard uh, old style marine bands on the go as well. So I thought I would just bring up uh, tempt to tempt everybody. 
Is it, whoopsie, no, it didn't mean to that one. Hang on a second. Get rid of that. See if I can find the correct one. Here we go. This is what we're talking about. This gorgeous thing here. And it comes in the, uh, the presentation box that Gerhardt showed us as well with the original specifications. Absolutely fantastic item for any harmonica fan, any Hona enthusiast as well. So dig deep, put your money in the, in the, in the uh, pot for the, the raffle, please. And thank you, uh, everybody around the world. Um, and thank you to Hona for, you know, supplying such a fantastic prize for us. Um, we're moving on to, we've got about another five minutes left. I think, Gerhard, when we chatted in preparation a few uh, weeks ago, you mentioned about the Sunny Terry harmonica. Well, Sunny Terry, yes, but Steve has one, also one issue, right? Yeah, there's a question in the chat. Uh, I don't want to detract from the wonderful Sunny Terry anniversary special commemorative harmonica, but there was a question in the chat which Gerhardt would be the man to answer, which is the difference between the Ace and the Super 64X. Would that be something that you could explain? Gerhardt, you're so... Yes, right. I, I just uh, grabbed grabbed one of these uh, uh, sanitary harmonicas. I didn't ben, get, get tell your... us about that first. But someone <laughs> to know about the difference between the Ace and the Super sixty four X, which are considerable differences. So I'm sure that you would be the man to tell. Well, of course, yes. The Ace, uh, um, maybe you know this. Uh, there's in the backside you have uh, elements which you can put in. So you can have uh, there are brass elements inside the instrument, and you can pull them off. So then you have a different sound quality. If you have all the the elements in of course the harmonica is more heavy and then it gives you more, a, a little more punch a little more volume so if you put off the 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 elements it's of course it's a, maybe a softer sound it's also more clearer sound it makes a difference so therefore you can adjust your sound because of the elements which you can put in we also offer wooden uh, elements which gives you then also a different taste a different sound quality so there's a different and of course the size the uh, ace 48 is a three octave harmonica and the super 64 are 64 reads so four octave harmonica this is a different but as i mentioned you still have the possibility to have the adjustment of the spring this is also on the ace 48 as well yes so and the next one will be yeah, of course yeah we have the the sanitary harmonica this was a model which we uh, had last year this was also a very special one because inside I didn't have the instrument unfortunately in but you can see the main thing or the instrument is here but we also had the box and the box is very close to the original box for the 125 years marine band harmonica it's also inside here something like this but then we had here a stamp and as everybody knows the uh, sanitary he was blind and his contracts when he yeah great thanks Steve so and uh, when he signed his contracts he always using a stamp and this stamp is his original stamp because we had a very good cooperation with uh, uh, with a yes association uh, who would take care on on all the things uh, sanitary did and they offered us the, the original stamp we made a copy of this and then this is also inside a wonderful uh, packaging the harmonica the stamp also with a very with a magnetic lock here it's a fantastic harmonica also marine band in the key of C but of course not with a, a mouse ear flaps so which we specially made for the 125th anniversary this is a standard marine band but of course also with a lacquered with a sealed comb and also with a painting so we have there also the black painting and the ochre painting in the front so it's a very traditional uh, harmonica of course also with a special engraving with uh, sanitary if you, maybe you can see it so this is one a wonderful uh, instrument as a gift and also also as a collector and of course you can play it no question Gerhard thank you so very much vielen vielen Dank and auch für Ines vielen Dank und Herr Baker gleichfalls thank you <laughs> thank you Richard <laughs> so one way or another, I hope we get the opportunity to come across to Trossing and see you again as we did two years ago yeah uh, failing that and perhaps if we're harping by the sea uh, February 2022. Maybe we could invite you lovely people to come and join us over here by the seaside. Be, that will be Thank great. You. If I may say so, one thing that will be really cool as an opportunity to come to Trossingen, uh, 
as well as the World Harmonica Festival, the Harmonica Masters Workshops, which I've been organising since 2003 in Trossing, and in the years, the three years in every four where the World Harmonica Festival does not take place there, will be happening, but it will be taking place in 2022 at Whitson in June. Uh, watch this space, we will have a great lineup, and I think that by that time we should be out of the COVID mess so that your chances of being able to come and visit us at a beautiful time of year are very high. Come and see us. Thank you, guys. Thank everybody, please show your appreciation. Give Gerhard Innes and Steve a massive, massive round of applause. All their support, everything they've done. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we thank and you for helping by the C2021. I can't thank you enough, guys. You've just absolutely made my day. Amazing. <laughs> Richard, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, the whole team. Yeah.